Beneath the quiet surface of every thriving garden lies an unseen world. A world of shadows, moisture and ceaseless activity. It is here, in this hidden kingdom, that the true architects of soil fertility perform their tireless work. Today, we uncover a method so surprisingly effective, so elegantly simple, that many gardeners who first hear of it shake their heads in disbelief. Yet, those who dare to try it soon discover a remarkable transformation in the life beneath their feet. This is the story of the underground rice trick. At first glance, a handful of ordinary rice appears harmless, innocent, even mundane. But in the soil, this simple grain becomes something else entirely. It becomes bait, a beacon, a feast for the microbial armies that call your garden home. And where microbes go, worms follow. To understand the power of this trick, we must look closely at what happens the moment rice touches the soil. Uncooked rice is rich in carbohydrates, long chains of starch that microbes can break down with astonishing speed. When you bury a small amount in your garden, the soil's microscopic residents, bacteria, fungi and beneficial decomposers are drawn to it like a magnet. In mere hours, a microbial bloom begins. And within days, their activity sends a clear signal upward and outward to the giants of the underground world, earthworms. Drawn by the promise of soft, microbe-rich organic matter, they tunnel toward the buried rice, turning sterile patches of soil into bustling subterranean highways. Earthworms are nature's engineers. Every inch they move, every mouthful they consume, rewrites the soil's structure, improving aeration, water retention and nutrient flow. But worms are also opportunists. Where bacteria thrive, worms gather. Where decomposition accelerates, worms feast. And where soft, partially broken down organic matter exists, worms multiply. Rice, once softened by fermentation in the soil, becomes one of the easiest food sources for worms to digest. Far easier than wood chips, cardboard or partially composted plant material. It is like offering them a banquet. Here, in the rich darkness, an earthworm consumes the microbe-coated rice, processing it through its simple but efficient gut. What emerges is pure treasure worm castings, the finest organic fertilizer nature can make. Black, silky, nutrient-dense, every gardener's dream. And it all begins with a grain of rice buried just a few inches below the surface. Let us journey through the process step by step. Step one, preparing the soil. Choose the area of your garden where soil quality needs improvement. Perhaps a hardened patch, a new bed, or soil that has become depleted over years of planting. Gently loosen the top 10 to 15 centimeters of soil. This opens the way for both microbes and worms to move easily toward the rice. Step two, placing the rice. Take a small handful of uncooked rice, about two tablespoons per planting area or per square foot. You do not need much, really. In fact, too much could attract unwanted pests. 
Bury the rice five to eight centimeters deep, not too shallow to avoid birds, not too deep to ensure microbes reach it quickly. Cover the spot lightly and water it well. When water reaches the rice, everything begins. Over the next 72 hours, something remarkable happens beneath your feet. Fungi begin weaving their filaments through the grains. Bacteria proliferate, clustering on the surface of the swelling rice. A warm pocket of fermentation develops, like a tiny compost pile in the earth. The rice softens. Its starch dissolves, its scent changes. To a worm, it is irresistible. Within days, the surrounding soil comes alive with movement. Entire colonies of earthworms migrate toward this new food source. They tunnel through the soil, loosening it, oxygenating it, moistening it, enriching it, all at once. The transformation is not merely visible, it is tangible. Gardeners report that just 10 to 14 days after using the rice trick, their soil feels lighter, fluffier, richer and more alive. Many gardeners rely on composts, manures, or liquid fertilizers to build soil fertility. These materials are invaluable, but slow. Rice is different. It acts as a microbial starter, a catalyst that awakens the soil rapidly. And unlike synthetic fertilizers, Rice does not shock the soil or burn sensitive roots. Instead, it builds an entire ecosystem. The result? Plants with stronger roots. Plants with greener leaves. Plants that grow in soil rich with worm castings and microbial life. This is not simply feeding plants, it is feeding the life that feeds the plants. This method works beautifully in, well, vegetable beds, raised garden boxes, flower gardens, under fruit trees, around shrubs, compost piles, and even in areas with compacted soil. Wherever the soil is tired, the rice trick brings revival. Like all things in nature, balance is key. Use small amounts. Too much rice can ferment excessively or, well, attract ants and rodents. A tablespoon or two per area is plenty. Bury it properly. Shallow rice attracts birds. Deep rice decomposes too slowly. Keep the soil moist. Dry rice remains dormant. Moisture awakens the microbes. Repeat every six to eight weeks during planting seasons for continuous improvement. In this quiet realm, long before a seedling breaks the surface or a flower shows its first color, the work of the rice trick unfolds in silence. Rice disappears, microbes multiply, worms gather, soil transforms. A teaspoon of white grains becomes a cradle for life a catalyst for richer, darker, more fertile earth. And that is the secret. Healthy soil is not bought, it is cultivated.
With nothing more than a handful of rice and a little patience, every gardener can awaken the hidden world beneath their garden and harness the power of nature's greatest soil builders. This is the underground rice trick. Simple, natural, transformative, a gift to every gardener from the living earth itself.